Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy. If you're new here, I am a mom, a stay-at-home mom. I'm a wife to a missionary pilot. We usually live in Uganda. Currently, I'm in the U.S. and my husband is now newly back in Uganda. Um, I talk about simple living, minimalism, parenting, mothering, and all the things in between. So if that's something that you enjoy, hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this video. And today we're going to talk all about why I'm wearing this dress for 60 days plus. I'm not sure yet how long I'm going to wear it for, but I'm going to wear it for at least 61 days. And um, why? Why in the world would I do that? And we're also going to talk all about how to pick, how to find what you actually like to wear because you don't have to wear a dress um, and you don't have to wear one thing either. But I want to talk about how I finally figured out what I actually enjoy wearing and what I'm going to continue to wear when I discontinue wearing the one dress. Okay, so that's going to be all the things. But first, I want to answer a couple questions. So if you don't care about my personal life and don't care about any of the things, um, go ahead and look in the description box. I'll have a timestamp of when I will actually start talking about the dress and how you can pick what you want to wear. Okay, so first of all, the big question is why am I in the US? So on September 28th, me and Sanyu and my twins who are 13 flew to America on a repatriation flight. At that time, there were no flights out of Uganda to America or into Uganda because of lockdown quarantine. Um, the reason that we came was because the US government offered Sanyu her immigration, finally. Um, it had been a one and a half slash two year process to get her immigration and the visa that we would come in on would declare her an, a US citizen on point of entry. So she became a US citizen when we landed, although we're still waiting on the paper so here we are so um we came on september 28th and so the four of us so hang in there but i've got two kids who are college age britain who's 20 hannah who's 18 then i've got a 16 year old and then i've got the twins who are 13 and then sanyu who's four so it was sanyu who we were coming to the states for and then also why we were here because I was meant to have a hysterectomy in June, but then lockdown canceled that. We were supposed to come back to the States and take our daughter to college, and then I was gonna have a hysterectomy. So I had a hysterectomy in early November, and we're waiting for Sonia's papers. Now, all of that. So then my husband and Hudson, who was 16, he was going to school in person when I left Uganda. So they stayed in Uganda and then they came here in December as did my two older kids the 21 the 20 year old and the 16 the 18 year old now I can't even keep them straight so then we were all here in this little 800 square foot mission house for Christmas so then last week Dave and Hudson the 16 year old went back to Uganda Hannah went back to university on Sunday. So now we're just down to me, the twins, Sanyu, and then Britton is here, which I will tell you more about what he's going to do, but he's no longer going to university right now. He was going to go back in the future, but he's doing something pretty exciting. But I want to wait until he shares the news before I tell you what he's doing. So is that clear as mud? So if you wanted to know about my family, there you go. You can know about family. Sorry, this hair is really bothering me and it's gonna make me crazy the entire time okay there we go nope I used some oil on my daughter's hair and it happened to like rub my hair so now it's greasy so now it's gonna do that okay so here's the point timestamp 420. 420 okay all about the dress about the dress um so this is a dress that I thrifted in November and I thrifted it because um, Jennifer Elscott of the Daily Connoisseur, who's also a friend, um, had this dress. And I was going to do like some classy B-roll for you, but I'm not that talented. So here's the dress. It is a Graham and Spencer dress. And Jennifer Elscott had had it in her wardrobe for, I think, two years. And I've been constantly looking to see if I could thrift it. Well, I found it. I thrifted it 
on ThreadUp, and yes, many of you have said the price I got was crazy. I need to find the actual transaction and post it here. I think I will. I spent like $17 on the dress, which is crazy, and then like $3 on shipping. So the dress came. I love it. It fits amazing because it's a fit and flare, and I'm smaller on the top and a little bit wider down below. I'm not huge, but that doesn't matter if you, you know, whatever. So my top is smaller, my big, my bottom is bigger. And so I really have decided that I love wearing fit and flare dresses. And I love wearing dresses because it's like a one and done. So that's the reason. So when it came, I was like, you know, like four or five years ago, I decided to wear one dress for all of December, which I did in Uganda. Um, and I raised money at that time for International Justice Mission. And then I thought, you know, that was such a great experience. I didn't have to wonder about what I was wearing every day. I didn't have to think about it. I could just throw on a dress and, you know, be ready for the day. And I was like, wouldn't that be fun to do it again? So I decided to do it in December. Not to raise any money, but just to simplify my life and, like, be content with what I have. And, like, I have this garment. Um, it's not really something I can wear, like, every day in Uganda because it's hot. Um, it's It's viscose but it almost feels like a thin flannel so it's not something I'll be able to wear I will break it out for Christmas Day for sure in Uganda um, and wear it for that so I'll keep it forever but anyway I just decided I wanted to get a lot of use out of it and you know they as I said in my last video they say that 30 wears is the appropriate amount of wears for you to get the life out of a garment that you purchase but then even if then you have a garment that you purchased secondhand. It's already had a previous life, so 30 wears would be excessive, right, if it's already thrifted. So my idea was, hey, if I can get 30 wears out of this dress, um, then wouldn't that be awesome and cool? And also just thinking about my contentment. Now, as I said in the last video, we were quarantined, locked down in, the US, we also had COVID, so I've pretty much not been anywhere, but I still wear the dress every day. But before we got COVID and there was quarantine, I was still seeing family and a few friends every week, like weekly, so they would see me in the same outfit. Um, and anything, any photo I've had online for the last you know month has been this dress, so it's a different day, but I'm still wearing the same dress. So here's the thing. So I decided at the end of December, it was such a fun experiment and I wasn't ready to retire the dress. Now, other people would say, oh, this is a Christmas dress. You should retire it after Christmas. Well, I like January and I think January's was my birthday month. I just turned 44 um, on Saturday and I just thought, oh, it's a pretty dress. I want to keep wearing it and it's so comfortable. It's literally like wearing like your sweats it's so comfortable and if I get cold I'll just put leggings on underneath it and I feel like Mr. Rogers now that we're out of quarantine if I go somewhere I put on my jean jacket and my Madewell thrift it's all thrifted so the jean jacket I thrifted for $3.99 from Goodwill and then the Madewell boots their booties um I thrifted them from Poshmark before I came to America so um, I don't have a photo of that, but if I, if I figure that out, I might put that somewhere. Anyway, so I feel like Mr. Rogers because when I go anywhere, like to the store, which is pretty much the only place I need to go at this point, um, I'll wear that. And then when I come home, I'll change into like this chunky sweater and my, <laughs> and my slippers. So, so I'm like Mr. Rogers. I have my outside outfit and my inside outfit. So, um, so that's the question of why, why would I wear a dress for now 61 days total? Um, I think I will stop wearing it at the end of January because I did thrift, I got, so my no buy year is a thing, but which if you don't know about that, you can go down into the description box. That's my last video. So I'm doing a no buy, but for Christmas, I, with the money that my parents give me I kind of buy the presents and then they give them to me like oh hey I'm so surprised so they bought me some ethical makeup or some like vegan makeup and then I thrifted a dress for $17 and then so I 
I'm not gonna wear that one for all of January, but I mean all of February. But anyway, so I think I will end wearing only this dress at the end of January. Do I have to do that? Do you have to do that? Of course not. I like social experiments. I think it's fun and I think it's fun to have kind of a whimsical take on living simply and it just helps keep me focused. I don't have to think in the morning. I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord, that I have something to put on my body. So how do I wash it? That is probably the biggest question that everybody gets gives me all the time. Now, first of all, I am not a farm worker, so I'm not outside feeding cows or shoveling poo. If I was, because a ton of people have asked me that on Instagram, if I was shoveling poo every day with this, either I would have one of those big aprons that like is like a jacket that goes all over this and would have like muck boots if I was really committed to wearing this dress, or I would just change like to be outside, but then I would be in this the rest of the day. Do I clean? Do I cook? Do I do all the things? That's the next question. Yes, I do everything in this dress. I wear it all day and then I change into my pajamas at night and wear those at night and then I change back into the dress. Now, I only wash it two, maybe three times a week. Um, so what I do on the nights that I decide that it actually needs to be washed, um, I just take it off after dinner like around 6 6 30 I put on my pajamas and my bathrobe so I'm not inappropriate and then I just put the week the night's laundry in and wash it and then by the time I'm ready to go to bed it's finished I hang it up in the bathroom and in the morning it's dry now this like I said it's 100% viscose and it's this really really awesome fabric by the way but it's dry in the morning so I just put it on so it's not a thing now, if I get a stain on it, but it's not smelly or it's not stinky, I just take a cloth and wipe it off or whatever because, you know, I'm not perfect and I've got a four-year-old and things get messy. So I'll wipe it, I'll spot clean it, and then I will wash it when it needs it. So that's the thing. So I think in any of this whole situation, I have learned, you know, I've done 10 item wardrobes, I've done simplifying my wardrobe, I've got a lot of videos about wardrobes if you want to go back. In fact, let me just leave. I'll just make a playlist and I'll put it in the description box. I like clothes. So it's not, I'm not coming from this place as somebody who doesn't care about clothes. I really enjoy clothes, but I feel my best in a dress. And it's not, it's not a like conviction type of thing. It's just how my body feels good. Most of my friends here in America, while I'm here, they wear the cutest little like hoodies or vests with, you know, boots and skinny jeans and that works for them. I think that's great. I am I am not here to judge anybody else's wardrobe as much as I hope nobody else judges mine. So, so how can you decide what you want to wear and what's in your closet? So, and I'm going to make more videos about this because it's something I've really thought a lot about because I think, honestly, as women, as we're trying to move towards simplicity with the end goal of eternity in mind, like this, this stuff doesn't ultimately matter, right? I'm trying to live simply so that I can focus on eternity. So it's not about how many items I own or being a minimalist, but it's about how can I live with less, focus on Christ and give more. That's my entire focus. So I've just come to the point of I actually do not like wearing pants. I don't like it. I don't like wearing them at all. And I also, I bought a skirt when I came to America. And I decided I hate wearing skirts because they're like really tight around my belly and then I have to figure out what to wear on top. And I don't like it. So what I've decided is I am just a dress girl. And it always has to be a fit and flare dress. And... 95% of my wardrobe is thrifted and will always be thrifted because I really do think it's better for the environment, better for our budget, and better for long term. Like, I don't have to be committed till the end of time. If I spend $170 on a dress, then I feel like I have to get my money's worth out of it. Whereas if I buy a dress for a dollar, or here in the States, <laughs> Goodwill's way more expensive, um, you know, $7.99, I don't feel as tied to this garment because it's all it is it's garments it's gonna burn one day so it's really doesn't matter but I also like to look nice I also like to feel good about myself
So it's always going to be a fit and flare dress for me, but I would ask you, what are the things in your closet? If you're looking to downsize, if you're looking to be simpler, if you're looking to live more simply, look in your closet. What do you grab every day? What is the thing that you always love to wear? What is the thing that you can't wait to come out of the wash? And what things do you almost never wear? And not just like the thing, you know, that you're saving for a wedding, like those kind of things need to sit in our, in our closet. But if there's something that you think, oh, one day I'll wear that either because of size or style or fit or whatever it is, why are you keeping them? You know, I mean, so I think that the ex, so I think the best experiment would be to do this. Go for two weeks, if you can, without washing your personal clothing. For me, I couldn't do that because it's one dress. But go for two weeks without washing any clothing. At the end of two weeks, wash exactly what you wore for those two weeks and then Put into a box everything else that you didn't wear and then see if you ever reach for it. So if it's a special occasion dress, it will still be there. You don't have to get rid of it. I'm not saying donate it yet. But if it's things that you literally never wear and don't care about and will never wear, why is it taking up space in your brain and taking up space in your closet and taking money? Because you might think, oh, I need more of those things. You know, whatever it is that you never wear in your closet. Why not just start wearing the things that you love all the time? I was watching uh, another YouTuber the other day and she loves to wear hoodies and jeans, but not skinny jeans, like straight jeans. And I was like, of course. So she was like, I'm stopping to buy, I'm stopping buying anything except hoodies and straight leg jeans. And I was like, yeah, obviously that's what we need to do. Pick what you love to wear and wear it. Wear the thing. Okay. So tell me in the comments, do you have a thing that you like to wear? What is it? Have you tried a two week experiment of not washing your clothes and then seeing how it goes? Um, and what do you think about letting go of things that you don't love wearing? Again, for me, it's always like, I'm literally getting rid of everything that is not a fit and flare dress. Now caveat, and as many of you know, my husband does like me to wear jeans. So on a date night, so I talked to him all about this. He loves me wearing dresses. He likes my dresses and I've specifically picked dresses that he enjoys me wearing. That's just because we're partners. We're marriage partners and I want him to enjoy what I wear because I'm his wife. Not because I'm downtrodden or whatever. Um, but so, so he likes the dresses that I wear, but then he also likes me to wear jeans. So I have one pair of jeans in Uganda. I don't even have them here. So I will wear those jeans on a date night. I think I still, yeah, no, I still have my flowy white top that I can wear with those. I literally have like one top. So that is going to be my date night outfit. I think it's mostly because he likes me to ride on the back of his motorcycle in Uganda, which if you've been around, why is he still riding a motorcycle? But that's thoughts for another day. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end this video. It's getting very long and I've been super chatty and I hope you guys aren't annoyed by my like extra chattiness. Um, so I am still trying to answer all the comments in the previous video. I just hang in there with me. I try not to be online a lot. I try not to have my face in front of a screen. It's been something that I'm very passionate about. So if I take a while to answer you, or if, even if I never answer you, it's not because I don't love you and I don't cherish you and I haven't read what you've said. It's because I really, really, really desire to look back and have no regrets. And up to this point, I haven't. I feel like my most important things are my most important things. And then as much as I love people online, it's not the most important thing. Um, my family is, well, God is, but then my family. So real life is always going to take precedence over online. And while I love you so, so much, um, it's just going to have to be that way. So thank you for being here and my mess and all the craziness. I hope that answered questions of the dress and how you can figure out what you want to wear 
leave me a comment below of the things I asked you before and any questions you have about the dress and how it works and all the things. I will again leave um, the description of the dress and the size and all the things down in the description box and um, yeah, let me know. And go ahead and subscribe, like this video, comment if you if this is the kind of thing that you like to see because I actually have fun doing these um, and I hope to keep making them for you. Next time is going to be more of a Q&A about the no buy. And then I've got a couple, well, I have a lot more videos, but I don't want to speak too soon. So we'll see what comes next. But I've got a lot of ideas and I'll see you soon. Have a great day and God bless you.